back in 2003 and 2004, I was drawn to New Zealand by um, uh, an opportunity to study at um, one of the world's uh, programs that's specifically focused on cool climate, winemaking and viticulture. Um, that was early in my winemaking career and hadn't had uh, a lot of opportunities to, to really dig into to, to Pinot Noir at that point. Um, but certainly being in New Zealand gave me uh, that opportunity. And I remember the first Pinot that I was kind of like, whoa, this is what Pinot Noir can be like. And uh, that was from a producer called uh, Pegasus Bay. And uh, they have a, uh, an estate and, and winery in the Wipera region, which is um, just north of Christchurch and makes some absolutely stunning Pinot Noirs. And um, really helped me understand uh, how amazing those wines can be. So fast forward to 2013 and um, fortunate enough to be in the cellar tasting uh, with uh, Jean Morcoyo uh, at his uh, chateau in Pomard. And uh, I asked him a question. Um, so Jean-Marc, do you enjoy drinking Pinot Noir or Chardonnay more. It takes off, comes back with a with a shiner, which is an unlabeled bottle. It's covered with dust, and uh, pours a, a white wine into my glass. It's Chardonnay, of course. And he doesn't say anything, and he just looks at me, and he's looking for my expression, which was, oh my gosh. And um, it was a a white Burgundy from 1992 from a vineyard called uh, Le Combets. And it's a moment that I'll never forget because it, it, it told me how amazing that varietal can be. So during my, um, my first growing season working here at uh, Willa Kenzie Estate, that was in uh, 2017, uh, certainly spent a lot of time walking uh, the blocks and parcels of our 100 plus acres of planted grapes that we have planted here uh, on the, the estate. And the more time you spend, um, you know, walking up and down rows uh, and then understanding the wines from a place, the wine, you know, to me, the wine gives you information about what might be going on in the field. And then uh, the same thing can be said for, you know, what's happening in the vineyard and the the canopy, what is it doing, uh, how does the land express itself. Um, places remind you of, of things that you may have seen or experienced at one point in time. And that was when I uh, kind of felt like, I think Emory reminds me of some other really great pieces of land, some other parcels that I've had a chance to work that have been capable of producing uh, exceptional Pinot Noir. and. Uh, I think at that point I was said to myself, I think we're going to be able to make something special from memory. 